What's a good advice you have for me in terms of responding to my haters? Tell them to keep sending it just because the more time they're sending it, the more time they actually care. Let it be because, I mean, it comes... Hello everybody and welcome to my channel Last week, I had people ask me questions and the impressions that they have from me And I recorded the first part of this Q&A and impression type of video But then when I was on a gig, I was getting hate messages I just wanted to like bring in quick attention to it while I'm also like drinking my matcha with boba I I'm personally such a positive person outside, inside not as much but I have so much love to give to this world when I made this YouTube channel I knew this was gonna happen so I prepared myself to even begin with watch my intro first follow me on Instagram subscribe to this channel and let's get this started Maybe the reason you're breaking out so bad is because you're using your sweaty fingers. I'm a dermatologist, MD. Some of you all know that I've been struggling with acne. I've been going to a dermatologist, putting aloe vera, everything that you can think of, okay, you guys? I've been trying so many different things. The problem is that there's still more acne's coming out and I'm not able to stop it. I am also taking doxycycline, which is antibiotic for acnes and it kind of cleanses your stomach. I have no answers and in fact, I'm gonna make a YouTube video about it in the future. When I'm at the gym, I've tried a couple different things. Obviously, if I take a towel, the towel is already unsanitary because I put it everywhere. I take a plastic bag, I put napkins in it and after my workout where I'm like super sweaty or my cardio, I just like dab, dab, dab and then I throw that one away. And then I take it again, dab, 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 throw that one away. Now, in terms of sweatiness, I don't know, maybe. Do the same dances at your Zumba classes as your wedding gigs. For anybody who knows dance, that's not possible. I can't do the same stuff that I do for Zumba or my fitness classes and take it to a wedding. So performance and a class is so different. Now, there might be kind of like same Armenian arm movements on some of the songs that we dance to an Armenian song and Armenian movements just because it comes from the same person and same choreographer so I do use some of the inspired Armenian movements in my fitness class and during weddings but they're not the same routine I'm an actual professional dancer and it's so interesting how you don't diet and exercise During COVID, I started doing this diet where I lost a lot of weight and it was a really healthy diet because I would pretty much eat everything except like sweets. I would have like cookies here and there, but I wouldn't have like sweets or junk food. And that became my lifelong way of living where I have breakfast before 8, lunch before 1, and dinner before 7. I did have moments in my life where I fell apart throughout this 2021 till 2000. 23 year lately i've been struggling with eating too much i'm just gonna be honest with you guys but now i'm at a good place i had time where i like had all of this chocolate and i loved it now i'm like okay sarah maybe you could have a little and like be satisfied with it so i kind of went back to gaining that control but in terms of exercise i've been exercising since like I got into dance because I know without doing cardio and without doing any sort of exercise your body is kind of not able to do well so in order to do well in dance you gotta polish the instrument that you have you really gotta work on it you gotta warm it up you gotta train it and you gotta make it strong so that comes with training and technique and obviously going to the gym. I don't have to do too much gym because I still need the rest of my body to function, to not overwork it and to be able to teach and take classes. Watch my vlogs like the day in my life ones and watch my stories because most of the time people who hate or they write stuff like this, I realize they don't watch half of my stuff. If you spend a little more money on makeup, your makeup will look better. I'm a makeup artist and the products you use, I don't approve. I don't care. <laughs> okay, let me be a little nicer, the nice Sarah that she is. The makeups that I use are actually really good and everything I've used has worked on my face except the way that I've used it that has caused me breakouts. Let me show you, my brushes right now are washed, you guys. Look at that. 
brushes are washed and ready for the next time I use it. And naturally, I have spent a lot of money on makeup. But I would not go into like the super expensive ones. Also like what is an expensive makeup? Every makeup product is like super expensive. If I'm getting paid from dance, what I would put a little bit more focus on is my dance shoes and my dance attire versus makeup products. For someone that eats tajin a lot, you should learn how it's pronounced. I know three languages almost four so if i make a mistake in one of them i don't hate myself for it for example before i used to say wives instead of vibes and i wasn't born in america so i haven't been trained the way like the kids did when they were like little that's not an excuse because when i found out it's not fountain it's fountain i fix myself so i don't bash myself on things like this thanks for correcting me i guess i don't know from now on i'll just say tahin but honestly saying tajin is kind of fun okay do you volunteer to do the lavash and honey honey <laughs> talk about tahin do you volunteer to do the lavash and honey at weddings to make extra money on the side you are a true hustler it's interesting where life takes you because i never thought i would be doing weddings like i got calls i never even thought i would be doing like fitness or zumba classes i got calls for them and kind of my life took me towards that direction which i'm really happy about in terms of lavash and dahani i don't volunteer because volunteer is not the word to use i have packages where we either enter with the bride and the groom and we do a performance or we just do a performance and we don't even do the lavash and the honey so it's totally up to the bride and the groom i know food is something that our community struggles with especially armenians and especially being in america with so many food choices like you have 7,000 different kinds of chocolates made in 7,000 different ways and you gotta pick one. There's so many food comments and I'm a little bit worried because it is something I feel like all of us struggle with. Does it make your day when you get to take food home after your gigs? I love your appetite. <sighs> so when I see food, let's say free food on a gig or anywhere I go, the first thing I think about is my brother. I don't like think about myself to go and eat that I think about, oh, what can I take home to my brother? Because I have a little brother, and it's always been a thing when I go out, I bring him something. We're talking about my tour vlogs, which you guys have seen it by now. That was a little different situation because we would get home by 12 a.m. and then we would be hungry, okay? Also, they did pay for our food, but at the same time, we didn't want to waste the food that was already put out there for us. But if it's a gig, for example, if it's a voucher or something, I literally buy food for my brother or sometimes for my parents. They usually don't want the food, but my brother usually likes it. So I always go and buy something for my brother. This one had me thinking about my whole entire choices of being an Armenian influencer. It's so fun seeing an Armenian influencer and I would love to follow your content more closely, but when you talk about food, waiting it, etc., I remember my eating disorder days. So sometimes I skip through your content if I see food. I don't wait my food, you guys. I go by tablespoons. That's only because I'm a dancer and I'm active all the time and I cannot shove million different things in my mouth and go dance or go work out because i will physically throw up i don't put my food on the scale and try to see like okay how much this is and how much should i eat i do count my calories and i go on and off with that because i don't want to burn myself out i don't want to come to an eating disorder the writing and the counting and the tablespoons all of that just kind of puts me on a rhythm i go back to it and then i freely continue my eating and everything i don't mean my videos to cause any eating disorder trauma or anything or bring anything back but anytime you watch my content keep in mind i'm active literally eight hours a day like if it was a full-time job which it is eight hours a day i'm active so i go to the gym i go teach my classes i go take classes and then I probably come back and I'm still physically active filming for YouTube. So those are like a lot and I gotta count how much I'm eating and how much I'm doing so then I don't lose or gain or destroy my body by lack of food. 
I didn't know you are a feminist. It's very admirable that you don't shave your underarms. To make a statement, brave girl, I would like to throw my phone towards the wall. If I must share my personal business, <laughs> I've been doing electrolysis under my armpits, which in this case, I am not able to shave and I don't want to shave because the process of it is to remove the hair from its root. It never ever comes back again. So that's what I've been doing. My armpits are currently shaved and very nice to go for my vacation. I am not against feminists, feminism, whatever you want to call it. I think there needs to be a little bit more balance and I don't want to live with this negativity that's going around because it's just not good for my mental health. I feel like whoever that meets me they're like oh my gosh she's a feminist she hates boys da, 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 da. like no <laughs> i have met people who've said oh women shouldn't work they should focus on children because children do better when their mom is always with them and is taking care of them and then i've met men who are like no women should work they should help none of this conversation matters you guys the only thing that matters in life is money okay and I say that with staring dead into your eyes because who wouldn't want to sit at home, sip on a margarita in the pool, okay? And who wouldn't want to not work? If you guys have money, probably the wife doesn't work and there's this opportunity for the wife to take care of the children and clean the house and focus on all of these stuff. Do I think that's right? Yes, I think women should be able to provide at home to their kids and you know the house in general do i think women should only do that no do i think men should also contribute to that yes but to me anymore this is what i've realized nothing is right or wrong it just depends on what works for your family and for your situation in terms of money this is another one I would like to shove my phone in the wall. I notice you always have visible gum in your videos. Is it the same one for the whole day or do you go through a few packs a day? This is another thing where if I do one thing in a video, for example, if I'm eating or having boba, I would probably get comments that says, you're always having boba in your videos. No, <laughs> usually have gum before I leave my house. And then once I get to that destination, I throw the gum away. No, I don't go through packs a day. Always remember, you only see a part of a person's life and whatever they choose to put on social media. So don't judge through that. Ah, let's tackle this one. Tackling this one. For someone that claims she's an independent woman who do not need no man, you sure talk about wanting a man quite a lot. I want a man, men men but i don't need a man yes i want to be independent and i had so many issues that i worked through myself within myself to be able to come to peace especially after my breakup i do want a family i do want kids and i do want to get married i've always wanted that especially when i turned 15. do i wish i played around a little bit more hell yeah because every time i gone into a relationship i was like this is it this is the one we're gonna make it work no matter what but not anymore okay i'm gonna explore a little bit and see what i need what i want and i'm always open to meeting new people going on dates seeing where life takes me because again as a kid i didn't do that i took everything serious and now that i'm 25 i'm like damn it bro why why did i do this are you allergic to coffee at starbucks or coffee bean is that why you make it at home you never go to Starbucks. Spoiler alert, I don't drink coffee, nor do I make it at home. If I make coffee at home, it's probably for my mom. Do I think people should drink coffee? That's their choice, but I think we're putting too much junk in our body. I love how you take advantage of all hotel amenities. Amenity, I don't even know how to say that. Hold on, let's have Siri say it. Amenity. Ease. And bring food back to your family. Thank you so much for your um, attention that I actually bring food for my family yeah I do that I love that but also it has its time and place so if the food is provided for us and for us to take home I usually do but usually when I go in a hotel or if you've seen in my vlogs where I'm like oh my god there's soap I'm gonna take all of it let's take all of this home 
I usually don't do that, but if there's food here and there, I definitely do. What do you think of your haters and how do you deal with them? Do I even have any? I don't know. I'm still like mind blown by this. I think of my haters as regular human beings who want love and attention. There's for sure some kindness in their heart and they're just regular people who are probably bored or haven't been taught how to love. I believe I have so much love in my heart and I have so much love in my hands that I can almost like push that negativity away. With this video, I want to acknowledge that hey, there's going to be hate in the future and this is my kind of answer to what you threw at me over like the anonymous messages this is the only time i'm gonna acknowledge it this is the only time i'm gonna look at it i'm gonna give you guys some answers but after this any hate that comes towards me i will probably read it and laugh at it and just push it away because as long as i'm on this earth spreading love and positivity especially through my fitness classes and bringing people together creating friends creating connections i think that's all i care about right now i have one advice for you guys for those of you who put hate is that feelings are temporary so they go away and it took me a long time to kind of realize that and to be able to control it myself We're all kind of in this boat together if you have the opportunity to spread love do it and if you want to spread hate because for some reason you're mad at something or you dislike a person because hate is a strong word take a walk because at the end of the day what matters is what you have right here your purpose in life which excites me because there's so many things i want to explore either that's like love life or career wise like your life should excite you and i'm not saying 24 7. there is that little feeling where it should excite you a little bit and you should look towards the future and be positive because everything's gonna be okay before i sound like i'm your therapist sitting here just giving you advice that includes this video thank you so much for all the messages all the questions and impressions for the positive for the hate it only encourages me to make more content to do what i love i will see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe like this video if you liked it also um comment down below you guys i want to hear from you too so um yeah see you in the next video